before burned at more than a thousand degrees rapidly and without a kaboom that's very good news for this man so far now that we know it burns let's see how well it cooks Meanwhile, Brad, Carrie, and Tori are attempting to wrap their heads around a mysterious martial arts myth. All right, Carrie, what's with the cold costume? Take a deep breath. Do we have Kung Fu Man? Yes! Which one? The Flying Guillotine. Oh, I love that movie. Yes! That's the one where the guy has a weapon. It's like a hat. It throws it over the guy's head, and he pulls the chain, and it decapitates him. Calm down. Yeah, and not only that, but once you cut the head off, you can actually retrieve the head back to the thrower. Well, I think the cool thing is that this might be more than a movie myth. This might be an actual ancient weapon. It could work. Made famous by B-grade kung fu movies, the flying guillotine was a disc that, when thrown over the neck, would decapitate and capture the victim's head. But it may not just be a filmmaker's fantasy, because legend has it, Emperor Yongzheng commissioned the device in 1722. But unfortunately for the Mythbusters, no drawings of the design survived. Okay, what a terrifying concept. Assassins that can behead you from a distance? Yeah, but you know, the real problem right now is finding a design. I mean, we've been through all these history books and found nothing. I mean, the only designs come from the movies themselves. I mean, we're on our own on this one. All right, well, why don't we come up with some prototypes? We can incorporate some ideas from the movies and come up with our own 